All right, so when I originally had intended to put this garage door, I had actually every intention of uh, putting together a video as I did it. Uh, but I forgot. Actually, uh, my cousin was helping me put it in, and we were just about done. And he's like, you know, this would have been a great time to uh, pull the camera out and videotape it. And then I just kind of like, one of those face plant moments. It's like, seriously. So I'm gonna basically just walk you through um, how it's done here, so. And uh, give you some good close-ups because this is a low profile door and uh, anybody, else or anybody else out there is looking to do it, this might be able to help you uh, skip a couple mistakes um, and better, understand, better explain um, how to install these low profile ideal doors uh, sold over at Menards. All right, so when you basically get these doors, uh, one of the first things you're going to kind of notice or one of the first things you're going to basically do is you're going to find the door that has the rubber strip on the bottom because how these doors go up is you put the basic hardware on each panel and then you basically toe nail or put a nail on each, each side of the door and it holds it in place. You stack the next piece on top of it, attach the bolts and, and go from there. So I'm going to just kind of walk you through how it's done. So basically what you want to do is you're going to look for uh, the panel that has a rubber strip on it. There's the rubber strip. So when you're going through your box, you'll find that one, you know that's your, your first panel. That's going to be on the bottom. You're going to pull all these hinges out. Uh, for this one here, uh, their name, they're basically each one's numbered. So you're gonna have your one, two, believe it or not, that's a two. This one here becomes a three, that becomes a four, and then there is a top one up there. So you're gonna basically take the hardware, set it all aside. Uh, your center ones are always gonna be the same one. They're always the ones. Uh, you can actually see the numbers will be on bottom of each one and you're basically so you're going to take your first one you're going to basically put your hardware on which is going to be this right here that's where your uh, spring mounts up with the cable uh, for your basically your torsion you could get it up there you're going to put these two screws on put your one put them on all the way across and then having someone help you, you're gonna basically, once you get it centered where you want it, you're gonna basically put, they say use a three inch. Um, there's not much extra slack, go three and a half. Put it on an angle, kind of toe nail, and then that just keeps tension and pushes it up. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Uh, once you've done that, you're gonna grab your next panel and you're gonna put the next set of hinges on it. And these will be in number two. Um, and you basically, once again, bolt these on. Uh, you'll still be the same one, be ones in the middle all the way up. Uh, the reason why these are actually changing to different numbers, um, like the ones, the twos, is you're actually stepping the, uh, the wheel on for the track out. That's the reason why these are changing, and they don't change here because there's no wheels. <coughs> so. So you're gonna basically put these on. You're gonna have uh, someone help help you. You carry it over, set it up. Um, each one I always put the level on it to make sure that it's it's still squared and level. And when you're putting that up, you'll flip these up, put the screws in or the bolts that it comes with. And then um, once again, you're gonna put another nail in, one on each side. Just put it in at an angle. And you're gonna repeat. Um, do the next one. You're gonna pull the next panel out. These panels don't matter. The only one that matters is the bottom one. All these rest will be the same. If it's different for some reason, like it's a custom size, normally they try to divide that amongst all the panels. Um, I think I've seen one once where the top panel was actually shorter. Not common, but it's possible. Uh, so 
you pull out basically what's going to be the third panel, same thing, put the next set of hardware, um, this one here was still a two, uh, go ahead and put the two bolts on, put the next hinge on with your someone helping you, put it up there, put your uh, toenails, uh, your nail, toenail each side, hold it up against the wall, keep an eye on if it's shifting um, or not and then you're basically gonna once you got that up there flip it up put the bolts in and you're gonna keep repeating um, this one is so basically for this one you get the bottom that's one this one is next this is a 10 by 9 door so it's 9 high 10 wide this is a 2 this is a 2 this is a 3 next one's a 4 on top and how you want to know you're going the right way if you look you can kind of see how this one is actually close to the door this is out so it's coming at an angle you should always kind of when you're going to put it it's going to be sloping down so and the wheel will always go on the outside one but you just repeat this process you go all the way up um, you put your top one on up there make it loose make it really loose just so it flops up and down and you nail them in Check the level. Uh, once you've done that, the next thing you're gonna basically do is you're gonna put this rail in. Uh, one on each side. When it goes in there, you just, you just make sure you have all these little wheels in there. You just go up to it, put it on an angle, and it'll just kind of like cup it right up there. Um, once you've done that, uh, you'll pretty much wanna make sure that you have, it'll tell you in the manual, that you have uh, a quarter inch I don't know if it's a quarter or half, but it'll say in the manual between the door and the track. So make sure that it never goes less than that. And once you've done this, you're going to have these brackets that mount to the wall. Uh, it's usually one bolt for the track, one bolt for the wall, at least for this one. Um, and they're designed basically when you put it in there, it pulls it in, it wedges it, and uh, you just have a nut on the end of it so that it won't catch the wheel going up. So the nut should always be on the outside. So that the inside is pretty flush. Uh, and then once you've had this, uh, you're basically gonna wanna uh, check the distance, level it going this way. And uh, this one, you're not so much gonna worry about leveling this as much, uh, but it'll basically hold it in a place where it wants the track to be by itself. Uh, so once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and put the little leg bolts that give you on each side. And you're going to repeat it and do the exact same thing on the other side. Uh, once you've done that, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is put the top, the top tracks in. Okay, so when you're putting the, the top section in, this one here was actually all built the top. Two tracks because it's a low because they're a low profile um, there'll actually be a second track and the top wheel will run that track that's what it allows you to do it I only had uh, I think it's about ten and a half inches or ten inches of clearance uh, that's why I had to use a low profile door so basically but once you've done that uh, what you want to do is you come down you know roughly where the end of it's gonna be and from the rafter, what I did was I threw basically a rope over each one, brought it down, we looped it, put that end of the track through the little loop or the noose, and then as one was slowly pulling this side up, um, I went over here and put the two um, bolts in. And then, so once we put these bolts up there, um, and you level it going front to back, you kind of, you snug them down. Um, do that for both sides. And then what you're gonna basically do next is you're basically gonna take cross measurements from one end over to there and then from that one to this, and you're basically gonna square it off. And then once you do that, you put the braces in um, for the actual braces for the track. That basically keeps it from going side to side and you know up and down 
And once you've done that, your next thing you're going to do is you're going to basically put the, uh, the bar together for the torsion spring and the cable pulleys. Uh, you're going to make sure that it's level going across. Uh, you're going to attach each one of these to the end. Make sure that the uh, spring or the pulleys and the cables nice and tight. Both are perfectly the same tightness. And then you're basically going to go in the manual and you're going to read them. Um, there is a right, there is a left spring, there is a right, and there is a left pulley. They're labeled um, exactly how they show. And you're basically going to uh, adjust it. For this one here, they actually had it at 7 foot door. They said it was um, 7 and 3 quarters turns. 8 foot was 8 and 3 quarters. They didn't have a 9, but it's a 9 foot, so I assumed it was nine and three quarters and I probably could have done maybe a quarter turn less but it worked pretty well um, but once you've basically done that um, you're gonna basically uh, tighten one spring up at a time and then tighten down the locking nuts and do the same on the other side um, and then basically you're done but just to kind of show you I'm gonna show you a close-up um, basically how it looks and this is probably the more important part is you want to know how this thing looks when it's assembled because the instructions are not all that great so let me go ahead and do that okay so if you basically look from the bottom you can see how I basically tied the rope and it just holds it um, in the middle but you basically can see how the cable has been pinned in it goes on the outside So you can see the cable, it's going on the outside, and as you see it goes straight up to the pulley. So take a look, um, you can see how these bolts are done, how the pulley is done, and it's the same on the other side, but this will kind of show you how the finished product is. So if you got an ideal door and you're trying to install it, and it's the low profile one, this will give you a basically nice, nice view of how it works. If you got any questions or need pictures or something like that um, to help you out, always feel free. Just go ahead and uh, leave a comment. Always willing to help when I can. And if you haven't already uh, done so, um, if you don't mind, please click the subscribe and the like button. And uh, see you in the next video.